Want to see how you can increase the performance of your solar system? Well, stick around and I'll show you. These solar panels are heavily coated with dust and primarily pollen from not being cleaned for about a year. So this is uh, reducing the performance of my solar. So today I'll be cleaning these panels and I wanted to show you how I go about cleaning the panels and how you can get more performance out of your solar system by keeping the panels clean. I will be using some liquid soap, regular tap water, and a very soft bristled brush. If you have a lot of minerals in your water, you may want to get some purified or distilled water so that you will not have the mineral buildup on the glass of your solar panels. But since I have pretty soft water here, I'm going to go ahead and use tap water right out of the hose. But the brush that I have, I wanted to mention, it's very soft. It's actually uh, designed to wash RVs. You don't want to put a stiff brush onto your solar surface. First thing I'll do is spray down the panels to loosen up and remove some of the larger particles. I'm not using a pressure washer. This is just from a garden hose. So with the panels wet, I'm going to take the brush and lightly brush across the surfaces, ensuring I cover the entire solar panel surface. Do not do this in the middle of the day or when the panels are hot. It's best to do it in the mornings before the panels have a chance to warm up or in the evenings after the panels have already cooled back down. getting the panels thoroughly rinsed to avoid any soap residue. Then inspect the panels. See what you have. They still feel like they have some uh, pollen buildup on them. A little bit, they're rough, they're not smooth to the touch in some spots. So I'm going to give them one more wash down. And one more rinse. And a final check. Oh, very smooth now. A little wow, what a difference. The clean panels in the front, the uh, dirty panels in the back. And I think you can really see that the ones I've cleaned are now shining and, and the definition is much brighter. And I'm confident that they're performing much better. Well, let me get back to work and uh, do the second row. Let me just mention uh, a word of caution. Be careful if you're in a high location, such as I am up on a roof. There can be trip hazards, such as these loose cables here, and uh, the surface that you're walking on may be wet, may be soapy. So please be careful. This cleaning took me about 10 minutes. Probably the preparation portion, getting the soap together, the brush, the water, the water hose takes just as long as the actual cleaning does. So it's not really a long process at all. Well, I finished cleaning all the panels. I've done some uh, preliminary uh, reviewing of what my uh, solar charge controllers are doing right now. And I understand this is uh, far from being scientific, but what I'm seeing is maybe 20 to 25 percent increase in, in performance. Now, I'm going to clean my panels once a year, 
primarily, I think the cause of the buildup of my panels is the pollen that comes in the spring. If you live in an area that uh, doesn't get much rain and maybe has a lot of dust, you'd want to do it more frequently. So it'll vary uh, region by region. But just... Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and ring the little bell so you get notices of my future videos. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>